Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video Inktober series plus watercolors and for today also as for the previous paintings I will be using this Hannah Muller sketchbook it will be linked down in the description box actually you will find a link for my Amazon store you can find there all the supplies I do love to use and recommend and also I will be using this uh, etcher ink pens these are number 01, 03 and 05 just a regular pencil you have mine is 4B. I do recommend using a lighter one because this one is quite dark. I'm using it because I want the sketch to be visible on camera, but you can definitely use a lighter one. Also an eraser, just be careful to use an eraser that doesn't smudge the paper. And for the brushes, I will be using this larger brush and probably this little smaller brush for details and some watercolors I made myself, a violet, yellow, probably some black, maybe even some uh, gold. And I believe that is all for the supplies, maybe some white gouache also at the end. That's all for the supplies, so let's get to the sketching. So first thing we're gonna do is do the sketch and this time I will do the butterfly on the side so we're gonna do something like that so we have one wing and then the other on the back so something like that it's not gonna be straight butterfly it's gonna be something like that so I will start the butterfly make it this part a little bit lower like that so this is going to be the body of the butterfly some uh, triangular shape and then we'll do the first wing going like that quite up gonna make it very very quite big and do just above the center and then we have you can do one line like that and do the lower part just wiggle the line like that and then do this is actually going to be a lower like that it's gonna be here that little something like a tail so I will do this even further away like that to that line where the To that line where I did which I did drew and then we have the other wing it's gonna go up here again quite big and go a little bit downwards so that's gonna be our butterfly and that's just a basic sketch I will just do the inking now again of that basic so first the body and I'm not doing one straight line I'm just doing a sketchy lines this is going to be it's one and then the other for the first thing and the second one like that and then a little bit downwards like that so that's gonna be our butterfly and I'm gonna write here this is a butterfly it's October 10th like that so this is the basic sketch and now we will do a little bit more of the shading and for that I will be using a little bit smaller brush but first I will start with this larger one and just do first on the body like that just at the edge and then downwards at the that tail lower part so it's gonna be body just add a few details to it like that that's gonna be the body of the butterfly and now we will add a little bit more details to the wings 
like that this part can be quite dark like that and this we can also make slightly darker we will use later on also watercolors as always so here i will also add a little bit more about of the details like that so there maybe here some details like that and also actually here where the wings meet so those are going to be the first details with this a little bit thicker but now i will get a little bit thinner brush i will get a little bit thinner pencil and do some details here also just those wiggles that i did i will use now to do the to do those details so just add maybe a few dots here and there lines veins like that and some here on this those that are gonna be visible like that and also I will just make this line a little bit thicker between those two like that looks very nice just add your inking where you where you want where you think it's it will look nice so like that I believe that's enough I won't be doing more just for now and so we can switch to our watercolors and as I did mention earlier I will be using this a violet color and first thing I'm gonna do is do a few splatters I did not erase my pencil marking this time they're not so visible so and just splatter a few of those pinks just smudge it here add a little bit on the other some here then I'm gonna use a little bit of the yellow and add that yellow just try not to mix your colors on the paper don't go over them too much with your with your brush just we're gonna try to keep them separated like that and a little bit more of that pink in some parts like that looks very nice and now I will get a little bit of the black just a straight black And add that one here not all the way I rinse my brush slightly and move that black also you don't want harsh edges from the black so I'll just I just added a little bit of the water and I'm now just adding some topped in some black so I'm gonna do here where I place the darkest part I'm gonna add some black let it bleed like 
this top in just the water to help it spread a little that black so just add watercolors that you like and how you like them you don't have to do exactly the same thing as I did so I will get this time a little bit smaller brush pick up more of that black and do a few splatters I managed to get them off my brush so like that and also just with the clean water a few splatters just want to make it uh, look a little bit looser so I'm adding more of those And I will get a little bit more of the paint, that violet. This is a mix of ultramarine and pretty pink from Etcher palette. So it's some nice violet color. A nice butterfly. <clears throat> Just a little bit more of the black and I will add some black also on the edge of my butterfly like that. So to make this and I will also add a little bit more the black here at the edge. I think it just gives it a little bit more of the sophisticated look. That black. And do a couple of lines here. Very light. You don't want to make them spread too much. Like that. So a little bit more of the splatters and I will also add some splatters in yellow like that and just dry that now so this is now dry and it does look like one big blob so it needs a little bit more of the definition I will get back to my ink pen this is again number 05 and add some details here to our butterfly wings just make it somewhat a little bit more like that detailed and emphasize some of the parts that you can see I'm just making the lines a little bit thicker on those parts that I did drew earlier so like that just to make a little bit more as I said definition to a butterfly just to make it a little bit less, less random looking like that actually I'm gonna do a few of those dots that I did earlier I'm just gonna go over them to make them a little bit more visible 
like that. So that's it. Also, I will get a little bit more of that, not more, but a little bit of that gold I mentioned earlier. And I'm just going to add it here and there. Not sure if you're going to see it in from this perspective, but I will hold up the hold up the finished butterfly so you can see a little shine that we added to to a butterfly. So move to the body like that, just to make it slightly more fun, shiny, and a couple of splatters with the gold and I'm gonna do a few more splatters with black. I got lost some definition here so I do want a little bit more of it like that and a little bit more of the splatters from that violet we used also just to create a little bit more of it so I've smudged some here it doesn't matter it's loose we won't fuss on those details like that so I really do not like that and I think I'm done I won't be doing anything else I will just show you how it looks hopefully you can see how shiny it is you know what we can do just add a little light line here like that just to fill up a little bit of that space around the butterfly and now we're definitely done so guys thank you so much for joining again this video hopefully you will be with me tomorrow and if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me if you appreciate this series you can say thanks by clicking that thanks button and when you click it you will get a little bit more info about that and again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye